in graphical solution of maximization problem the line which we move from origin to the extreme point of the polygon is any one side of the polygon isoprofit line isocast line and imaginary line the answer is option b isoprofit line in graphical solution of maximization problem the line which we move from origin to the extreme point of the polygon is option b isoprofit line okay so basically the graphical method is also called as what geometrical method in this we have uh, two approach right so first one is uh, isoprofit or cast function line approach second one is extrema point enumeration approach so in isoprofit or cast function line approach uh, we will consider the objective function line uh, uh, at the origin okay so which is uh, at the origin and uh, passes uh, from the origin to the extreme point of the polygon okay so if you see you can understood uh, what is isoprofit or cast function line approach so here uh, what we are doing is we are considering uh, uh, the objective function line okay so that is uh, is z uh, so z is the objective function here we are considering the objective function z equal to 0 and uh, we are moving from origin to the maximum point of the uh, that is the polygon that is a feasible region right so this approach is also called as what isoprofit or cast function line approach the second approach is uh, we will find the coordinates of each extreme point of the feasible region okay so in this we will find the extreme point like uh, c d e okay so this is the extrema point enumeration approach from that uh, corner points what we will do we will find the optimum solution okay so this is the procedure which come under extrema point enumeration approach okay so as per our question what they have asked is uh, maximization problem okay so in graphical solution of maximization problem the line which we move from origin to the maximum point okay so this procedure is related to what uh, isoprofit or cast function line approach okay so in this uh, this line is also called as what isoprofit or cast function line but uh, for maximization problem uh, it is also called as what isoprofit line because uh, the profit we have to maximize right okay so the cast we have to minimize so based on that we have to uh, decide whether it is profit line or cast line okay so from our question they have asked maximization problem so we have to consider this line is also called as what isoprofit line okay so the option b is correct so next question is in the graphical method of linear programming problems the solution would lie in the feasible polygon at its one corner its center the middle of any side none of the above the answer is option a it's one corner in the graphical method of linear programming problem the solution would lie in the feasible polygon at its one corner so this question which come under what extrema point or enumeration approach okay so in this what we will find is we will find the coordinates of each extreme points that is corner or vertex of the feasible region from that uh, uh, the vertex points we will find the optimum solution right so the answer is what option a it's one corners next question is the linear programming with dash variables can be solved graphically 2 3 4 5 the answer is option a 2 the linear programming with dash variables can be solved graphically that is two variables because uh, uh, in the graphical techniques uh, we can we have uh, what two axes right x and y axis so the two variables we can uh, be solved by using what graphical techniques but there is no limitation on the constraints right and also i have uh, listed some important points related to the graphical technique uh, that is uh, a linear programming problem with uh, only two variables can be solved graphically feasible region or solution space as convex property okay so the boundaries of the region are lines or planes so there are uh, corners or extreme points on the boundary every corner point of the feasible polygon indicates basic feasible solution right 
so from the corner points uh, uh, the every corner points feasible polygon only indicates what basic feasible solution by using that corner points we can able to calculate what the optimum solution okay so this also very important point uh, related to graphical technique next question is in the graphical method of linear programming problem every corner of the feasible polygon indicates option a basic feasible solution option b optimum solution option c both a and b above option d none of this okay so the answer is option a basic feasible solution in the graphical method of linear programming problem every corner point of the feasible polygon indicates a basic feasible solution right so as we already discussed that is uh, every corner point of the feasible polygon uh, gives only what basic feasible solution by using that corner points we will substitute uh, that value to the objective function then we will find the uh, exact optimum solution okay so the corner points uh, only gives the basic feasible solution uh, by substituting that corner points to the objective function we will get the optimum solution so the answer is option A. Next question is which of the following are correct in respect of graphically solved linear programming problems? The region of the feasible solution has concavity property. The boundaries of the region are lines or planes. Uh, there are corners or extreme points on the boundary. Uh, so the, uh, select the correct answer using the code given below. The answer is option B, 2 and 3. Okay. So, because uh, the region of the feasible solution has convex property, right? So, this one is wrong. The boundaries of the region are lines or planes. So, this one is correct. And there are corner points or extreme points on the boundary. So, the answer is what? Option uh, B, that is 2 and 3 is correct. Uh, one is wrong because uh, the region of the feasible solution has what? Convex property, okay? So, these are all the points uh, I have listed here, okay? So, the feasible region or uh, solution space has convex property the boundaries of the region are lines or planes there are corners or extreme points on the boundaries okay so every corner point of the feasible polygon indicates basic feasible solution okay so the two variables can be solved uh, by using what graphical method and uh, next question is this one is very important question okay so i have uh, given a detailed solution for this question and uh, two question uh, which come under this concept okay so try to understand it right so here they have given the objective function that is z max equal to minus x1 plus 2 x2 and they have uh, given uh, two constraints that is x1 minus x2 is less than equal to minus 1 minus 0 0.5 x1 plus x2 is less than equal to 2 and x1 comma x2 is greater than equal to 0 yes uh, option a unique multiple optimal solution unbounded solution in feasible solution okay so the answer is multiple optimal solution okay so i have given the detailed explanation so before that uh, they have given how many variables they have given two variables right x1 and x2 okay so the two variables can be solved uh, easily by using what uh, graphical technique okay so here i have used uh, graphical method for solving this problem okay So, they have given the maximum that is uh, objective function z equal to minus x1 plus 2 x2. So, these are all the given uh, points uh, for non-negativity restriction. Okay, So, the right hand side is minus 1. So, we have to just multiply it with uh, minus 1. You will get the uh, that is non-negativity restriction constraints. Uh, and uh, first step is what you have to do is you have to use this equation that is minus x1 plus x2 equal to 1. And substitute x1 equal to 0, you will get x2 equal to 1. And x2 equal to 0, x1 equal to minus 1. Okay. So, from this, x1 is minus 1, x2 is what? 1. So, similarly, second equation, second constraint is what? Minus 0.5 x1 plus x2 equal to 2. And substitute x1 equal to 0, x2 you will get, that is 2. And x2 equal to 0, x1 equal to minus 4. Okay. So, the another point is what? Minus 4 comma 2. Okay. So, you just plot uh, uh, using... Uh, that is uh, x and y axis that is x1 and x2 so plot the region and consider only what non negativity restriction that is the first quadrant okay so this is the feasible region or the feasible uh, area 
so here uh, this one is the point A and this one is the point B and this one is the point C okay so the points are A is 0 comma 1 and the point B is 0 comma 2 and the point C is 2 comma 3 okay so you just substitute these points uh, in the objective function you will get z equal to 2 z equal to 4 z equal to 4 uh, if you see here the maximum value is what this is the maximum uh, maximization problem so the maximum value is what z equal to 4 and z equal to 4 okay so but uh, the solution uh, from two points we are getting the maximum value right so the answer is what multiple optimal solution okay and also very important point is that is the iso profit line okay so the different approach is called the iso profit line approach if you see here if you consider the iso profit line that is z equal to 0 that is the objective function minus x1 plus 2 x2 equal to 0 so what you will get you will get uh, this line is parallel to any one constraint line okay so you can easily conclude uh, for a multiple optimal solution the iso profit or iso cost line which comes parallel to the one constraint line okay so this are also very important points uh, you have to remember okay so next question is in case of solution of your two variables linear programming problem by graphical method one constraint line come parallel to the objective function line which one of the following is correct the problem will have infeasible solution unbounded solution degenerate solution infinite number of optimal solution the answer is option d infinite number of optimal solution in case of solution of your two variables linear programming problem by graphical method one constraint line comes parallel to the objective function line which one of the following is correct the problem will have infinite number of optimum solution okay so also called as multiple optimal solution okay so we have discussed in the last uh, problem itself okay so the in the graphical method one constraint line comes parallel to the objective function line or that is the iso profit or cost function line the solution is what that is the answer is infinite number of optimal solution or multiple optimal solution okay so you can uh, see here so this one is the objective function line it is uh, parallel to one constraint line so the solution is what it is a multiple optimal solution you can decide uh, directly by seeing this itself uh, the two lines are parallel that is the objective function line and one constraint line are parallel so it is a multiple optimal solution or uh, infinite number of solution okay next question is if m is the number of constraints in a linear programming with two variables x and y and non negativity constraints x greater than 0 y greater than equal to 0 the feasible region in the graphical solution will be surrounded by how many lines so that is m m plus 1 m plus 2 m plus 4 the answer is option c m plus 2 if m is the number of constraints in a linear programming uh, with the two variables x and y and non negativity constraints x greater than equal to 0 y greater than equal to 0 the feasible region in the graphical solution will be surrounded by how many lines okay so that is m plus 2 it is a very simple uh, one okay so in the graphical technique uh, i have solved one problem okay so for uh, giving uh, exact concept okay so this is the feasible region after solving this problem you will get the points okay so that is the corner points uh, and uh, plot it uh, here uh, you have two constraints so you will get the two lines right the feasible region if you see here the feasible region is surrounded by how many lines okay so that is um, they have given two constraints okay so that is m m equal to 2 plus here you have uh, another one line that is y axis as well as x axis okay so the feasible region is surrounded by how many lines that is m that is the constraint line this one is 1 2 3 and 4 okay so m plus 2 that is uh, x and y axis so the answer is what m plus 2 so that is the number of constraint plus 2 so that is the um, lines uh, which is surrounded 
by the feasible region. Next question is, while solving a linear programming model, if a redundant constraint is added, then what will be its effect on existing solution? Okay, so there will be no effect, the solution space will get further constraint, the solution space become concave, the problem no longer remain solvable. Okay, so the answer is option A, there will be no effect. While solving a linear programming model, if a redundant constraint is added, then what will be its effect on existing solution? Okay, so there will be no effect. Okay, so I have uh, given uh, some basic ideas for understanding this. Okay, so what is the redundant constraint? We will discuss. Okay, so for this also I have solved uh, one problem. Okay, so this is the maximum maximization uh, function and uh, three constraints are given here. So just plot uh, all the problem and solve it. You will get uh, like this plot. Okay, so from this you see here uh, this one is the 12 x1 plus 3 x2 uh, less than or equal to 3000. Okay, so this one have the feasible region here as well as this constraints. So that is 2 x1 and uh, 3 x2 less than or equal to 900. So is plotted here as well as the line 4x1 plus 10x2 less than or equal to 2000 is uh, plotted here. Okay. So from this only this line and this line gives the feasible solution. Okay. So and uh, this line there is no impact. Uh, if you consider this line you won't uh, it won't impact any solution changes in the solution. Also, if you remove this line, there is no effect, right? So, in the solution, uh, that is a feasible solution is not affected by the redundant constraint, okay? So, by considering the redundant constraint, the solution space have no effect, okay? So, from this, you can clearly understood the 2x1 plus 3x2 less than or equal to 900. This constraint have no effect on the solution space, right? Next question is solution to z max equal to 4x1 plus 6x2. Okay, so this is a very simple question uh, for uh, understanding purpose I have uh, solved. Okay, so they have given two constraints. Okay, so that is x1 plus x2 less than or equal to 4, 3x1 plus x2 less than or equal to 12. The solution is what? Unique, unbounded, degenerate, infinite. The answer is option A, unique. So here, uh, they have given uh, how many constraints, uh, two constraints and variable is x1 and x2 only. Okay. So, you can solve this problem by using what? Uh, graphical method. So, I have solved by using graphical method. So, if you see here, okay. So, they have given the objective function is this one and two constraints. Uh, first, you take uh, uh, the first constraint that is x1 plus x2 equal to 4. Okay, so just to substitute x1 equal to 0, you will get uh, x2 equal to 4, and x2 equal to 0, you will get x1 equal to 4. Okay, so that is the first uh, point, so 4, 4. And uh, next constraint is 3x1 plus x2 equal to 12. Uh, substitute x1 equal to 0 and x2 equal to 12, and x2 equal to 0, x1 equal to 4, you will get uh, 4, 12 is the another point. Uh, just to plot. Uh, 4 comma 4 okay so first constraint is 4 comma that is x uh, 4 and x2 is 4 and uh, another constraint is x1 is 4 x2 is 12 okay so you will get the feasible region is what so this is the feasible region okay so from this you have the point uh, that is 0 comma 0 0 comma 4 and 4 comma 0 from this you, you just find the uh, is it max value? You will get uh, first point is it equal to 0, second one is is it equal to 24, then third is it equal to 16. Okay, so the maximum value is what? Is it equal to 24 because they have asked what uh, maximization function, right? So you have to consider the maximum value. So only one value you have got, so that is a unique solution. So next question is an objective function is P of x comma y equal to 3x plus 9y and the constraints are uh, x plus y less than or equal to 8 and x plus 2y is less than or equal to 4, x is greater than or equal to 0, y is greater than or equal to 0. The maximum value of the objective function is 
18, 24, 30 and 12. The answer is option A, 18. Okay, so here also if you see how many variables they have given x and y. Okay, so you can solve this problem by using what uh, graphical method. So similar procedure. So take the first constraint x plus y equal to 8. So just substitute uh, x equal to 0 you will get y equal to 8, y equal to 0 x equal to 8. So this is the first point 8 comma 8 and uh, similarly second constraint if you solve you will get 4 comma 2 just to plot it. Okay, so you will get uh, this is the feasible region. Okay, so from that as the points are 0 comma 0, uh, a is 4 comma 0 and b is 0 comma 2. Okay, so just to substitute the point in the objective function you will get p equal to 12 and p equal to 18. Okay, so this one is uh, uh, what they have asked is maximum value. Okay, so the maximum value is how much? So that is p max equal to 18. So the answer option a is 18 is correct. Next question is a feasible solution to the linear programming problem should satisfy the problem constraint, optimize the objective function, satisfy the problem constraint and non-negativity restriction, satisfy the non-negativity restriction. The answer is option C, satisfy the problem constraint and non-negativity restriction. Okay, So a feasible solution to the linear programming problem should satisfy the problem constraint and non-negativity restriction okay so this is the basic concept uh, of the linear programming problem okay next question is the mathematical technique for finding the best use of limited resources in an optimum manner is known as operation research linear programming network analysis queuing theory the answer is option b linear programming the mathematical technique for finding the best use of limited resources in an optimum manner is known as linear programming. Okay, so here I uh, have given uh, necessary conditions for the linear programming. Okay, so actually it deals with the optimization of linear objective functions under limited constraints. Okay, so and the necessary conditions are uh, there must be a well defined objective function, the decision variables uh, should be interrelated and non negative. The resources must be in limited supply. There must be alternative uh, courses of action. Okay. So next question is linear programming is an abstract model generally using mathematical symbols. Is a technique which optimizes linear objective function under limited constraints. Uh, is a technique which ensures only integral values of variables in the problem. Is a technique which is used to analyze multi-stage decision process. Okay. So the answer is option B. Is a technique uh, which optimizes linear objective function under limited constraints. Linear programming is a technique uh, which optimizes linear objective function under limited constraints. Okay, so this is a uh, uh, general uh, idea of the linear programming and also necessary conditions are listed here. Okay, so next question is which of the following conditions are necessary? of uh, applying linear programming. There must be a well defined objective function. The addition variable should be interrelated and non-negative. The resource must be in limited supply. Okay, so the answer is what? Option D, 1, 2 and 3. Okay, so because uh, uh, the necessary conditions of linear, applying the linear programming is there must be a well defined objective function. The addition variable should be interrelated and non-negative. The resource uh, must be in limited supply. So the three options, uh, the three given points are correct. So the answer is what? 1, 2 and 3. Right. So and also the last point is what? There must be a alternative course of action. Okay. So many necessary conditions are available, but uh, this four are very important. Okay. And the last question is, Graphical method, simplex method and transportation method are concerned with value analysis, linear programming, break-even analysis, queuing theory. The answer is option B, linear programming. Graphical method, simplex method and transportation methods are concerned with linear programming. So all the best.